Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial, and in this video, I'm going to be going over some requests that people had asked, and I'm going to be answering three of them in this video. Now, if you want to request a tutorial, I have a submission form. All you have to do is just click on the link in the description, and it'll take you right to where you could submit any ideas or requests for tutorials you have. So the three things that I'm going to be going over is how to do something like this, how to make a card that has double sides to it fairly quickly and easily, and the last one is going to be working with audio, which we don't have any footage for it right now because it's just audio. So let's first start with the cards. And this request came in from Lee. So Lee, this one's for you. So in order to do this, we need to have some cards. So let's just start with a new composition. And I've already brought in some, just some images of cards. And they're obviously not the same size. That's okay. So I'm going to quickly crop this. I'm going to crop it in a little bit so there's not as much of a border. Okay, and then after I crop that, I'm going to then move um, the anchor point to the center of the card. So I can do that by bringing up my pan behind tool, which is Y on the keyboard. And I'm just going to bring that to the center. Now for this other one, let's go in here and then crop this as well. And let's do the same thing and bring the anchor point to the center. Okay, now we need to line these up. So let's just line these up the best we can. And I'm going to just go ahead and kind of stretch it. That's fine for this example. Hopefully, if when you're doing this, you'll have you know, more exact cards that work together. So I've got these lined up and I'm just going to come in here to the mask and let's get this to the right spot. Okay, so we've got these lined up and what to do in order to create this into a card that is reversible. So if I, if I turn this 3D and kind of flip it around, it's not going to work quite yet. So what you do is first turn it 3D and then I'm going to take one of these layers, hit P on the keyboard, I'm going to change the Z position to negative 0.1. And that's going to move it just enough so that when I rotate these, everything is going to be good. So I can come in and rotate these. And it, everything, it's still looking a little bit weird. So what you need to do in order to fix that and make things a lot easier to work with is I'm going to pre-compose these two layers. So Command Shift C or Control Shift C on your keyboard will pre-compose this. I'm going to call it card. Now, if I were to turn this 3D and then rotate this, I only see one side. But there's this little button right here. There's a little sun um, icon underneath it. What that does is it brings across the properties from the composition into this composition. So now I have a card that is... I can move around in 3D, and I've got two faces to it. So that's how you do that one. The next thing is working with audio. So let's go ahead and just delete this audio. Let's bring back in the audio track. And the question was, is how do you, how do you kind of work with audio and maybe m put in some markers and things like that so it's easy to see where the beats are? So but how to do this is I've got my audio layer selected, and I'm going to hit LL on the keyboard, so L twice. And this brings up the waveforms. And from here, I can see all of the beats like that. Now, if I if it's harder to see some music, it's not as easy to see where the beats are. Um, what I can do is I can render out just this, the, the audio. And I do that by hitting the period key on the 10 keypad on your, on your big keyboard. And so while it's playing like that, I can hit the star or the asterisk key on the 10 keypad as well, and it'll create markers as the playhead is moving. So I'm going to just do that now. And so I was just hitting the asterisk key to the beat, and you can see those markers now show up, and then I can easily go in and animate to these things because I can see, okay, there's a beat there, 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 there if the waveform isn't as obvious as this one is. So that's how you do that. Remember, 
it's the period key to render just the audio and you can listen to it and then while it's playing you hit the asterisk key and both of these are on the 10 keypad and the last question I want to address is from a Scott a mr. Scott and um, he asked about doing some some things like this where there's kind of twisting twirling uh, arrows that swirl around some some text like this and this one's a little bit longer but hopefully I can get through it fairly quickly so how to do something like this it's actually a really kind of a cool technique and we'll start from scratch I'm gonna create a new composition and I'm gonna make this large 4k size and in here let's um, create a new solid so just command Y or control Y on your keyboard will bring up a new solid and then I don't need the solid there I just like it there for reference uh, later on and you'll see this so I need to create an arrow that's moving across and when you do this effect you want the arrow to start down in this corner and go up to that top right corner so bottom left to the top right so I'm gonna just create an arrow with a shape layer and let's give it a fill color of red and no stroke and I'm gonna be very kind of simple with this I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time creating an awesome arrow okay so there's my arrow and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna animate this arrow moving from this corner to that corner so let's go in put a keyframe on position start it down here move forward in time a couple of seconds and have it now off of the screen up there and that's the animation I can actually come in here and maybe we do this a couple of times and we can move it maybe have it start a little bit later I can come in here and change the color of this I did another copy I'm just moving the anchor point to uh, change where it's located and let's make this one a uh, blue and so now we have three arrows kind of moving across now what we do is we take all of these layers we pre-compose so command shift C call these arrows and then after we pre-compose this I'm going to now take this composition go to the settings and change it to 1920 by 1080 and then let's take this composition go to effect perspective cylinder and it creates kind of a cylinder look and then let's go into rotation and let's rotate on the Z let's go down to 90 degrees let's bring this down about right there and as we look we can kind of see let's um you can see the arrows are kind of spinning around now we can't see the backside yet because of this white solid and it's just kind of easier to see what's going on when that white solid is there but now that I can see I can go in and turn that off and you can see these kind of twisting twisting arrows now I've got some kind of lines where it's cutting off there and it's cutting off here as well so I want to go ahead and scale this up so it cuts off that end and at the beginning too so we've got these kind of spinning around now let's put some words in the middle here so words in the middle and in order to make it look like these arrows spin around I need to duplicate this composition stick one on top and the one on top I need to go into the render and just do the outside and then the one on bottom I need to go into this render and do the inside and so you can see let's make it a little bit better so what I want to do now is I want to rotate uh, these two because I don't like kind of where they're at 
So in order to keep these in sync, I'm going to do a quick expression. So let's bring up the effect on both of these. And I want to rotate this way. So around the Y axis. So I'm going to option click on the stopwatch and then pick whip the, the rotation of the Y on the bottom one to the rotation of the Y on the top one. And now I can move them both at will. So there we go. So that's the first. And so what I can do to kind of give a little bit more rotation to this is I can keyframe this Y rotation. Keyframe it there. And let's have a rotate a lot more. So you can see now it's kind of swirling around. After we've got these made, we can come in and let's go in and duplicate just these two layers. Let's duplicate them again and just kind of move them in time. And we've got this kind of this cool arrow thing going on. So that's how you do that. Fairly simple. And the key with this one is to have the layers on top are the front ones and they need to be set to outside. The layers on bottom, um, underneath the words, are the bottom ones and they need to be set to inside. So that's the tutorial. So we went over three things. We went over working with audio. We went over this cool arrow thing, um, twisting around the words. And we also went over using, making a 3D card that has a front and a back to it. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them down in the comments below. If you have a request for a tutorial, I've got that submission form. There's the link in the description. Also, make sure you put a comment on this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.